Hi everyone, welcome back and today we've got the new B153 GT Katinko customized set to unbox and I am super super happy to have gotten hold of this. There is a lot of hype uh, around it at the moment and for good reason. So just like the previous Chosey customized set, we get four bays, two of which are exclusive to this release at the moment and the other two are recolors of previous parts. Um, I will flip it over now and start off at the top here. So we've got a small overview of uh, everything we get inside the box. There's a little tool here so I'm uh, interested to see what that is about and we'll move on to our layers now and one of the main reasons why there is so much hype about this set we've got Regalia Genesis here with that new infinite lock gimmick as well as uh, having that hybrid driver uh, which has a motor inside of it and then uh, we've got Prime Apocalypse here so another bay uh, featuring that infinite lock system and here comes with the O-Disc, the Dagger Frame and Ultimate Reboot Dash. And I've been waiting for a Dash version of Ultimate Reboot for a while now. So I'm uh, really glad to see that. And then we've got our, as I said, two recolors of previous uh, released parts. Um, Cosmo Dragon first up. Uh, and we've got his Dragon Chip, the Retsu Weight, and the Cosmo Layer, uh, and uh, the Vanguard Forge Disc, then Revolve, which is a pretty old driver, making a small comeback here, and that's all in that nice aqua blue colouring, and last, we've got a Race Fafnir, and... We've got his Fafnir chip, the 10 weight, uh, the erase layer, and a Sting forge disc, and then um, a trick driver, all in that uh, bit of a bright red colouring. So that said, we'll get stuck into opening this up, getting those stickers on, and then having a good look at the bays inside, as well as uh, giving them a bit of a test fire.
okay we've finally got everything unpackaged and all of those stickers on and uh, we'll have a more in-depth look at these bays now and I am going to start off with Prime Apocalypse uh, simply because he's been portrayed as the main bad guy in the series at the moment and uh, we'll have a look at his driver first so he does have the re-release of Ultimate Reboot Dash version and I really like the color scheme that they've gone with this uh, that red and black going so well together and uh, you can see that golden spring there featured on these dash drivers uh, so much stronger than the regular one and I just want to quickly check out uh, how easy this uh, driver retracts and nice and smooth awesome uh, some of these uh, sometimes only sometimes have a tendency to stick uh, when they retract but uh, this one is perfect nice and smooth and uh, we'll move on to our disc and frame so for that we have the O-Forge disc and uh, this is a pretty staple disc featured on many decent bays and has a good amount of weight to it and his frame is dagger nice red version here and that adds a little bit of extra attack power to that forge disc and um, it was uh, something which you had to get separately at the time uh, that it did come out um, uh, but then we saw it come back with funnily enough the uh, Chozy customized base set um, with uh, the recolor of Bloody Longinus as a purple version and next up we have our layer which is Prime Apocalypse probably the first thing that you will notice is that it doesn't actually feature a removable chip or weight system uh, everything sort of fused together uh, almost bringing it back to a Chozy layer and uh, I really like the design on the front of this uh, almost an Excalibur-esque uh, look to it uh, and now um, uh, I'm pretty sure you're all, all keen to see this infinite lock system in action uh, so we'll put him on the back side and uh, you'll notice that everything is kind of lined up with these arrows at the moment uh, which is the position that you want it in to uh, get him together and we just grab our disc and line its grooves up uh, with that position as well and then you grab your driver and you'll push him in and you'll just you'll feel him sink in and uh, apply a bit of pressure to that front tab and turn and you'll hear that nice big click there indicating we're all good to go and uh, we have ourselves a infinite system in place now um, so that disc just just keeps spinning and uh, you'll see that red color go past on the gap in the front there and what that indicates is uh, when it is vulnerable to burst so when it does line up with uh, it's when that red does line up with that gap and it is struck hard enough um, on the front here while it is spinning uh, you are finally able to burst it and uh, that is how that works uh, and now we will move on to our regalia Genesis and the hybrid driver and first up we will actually look at our layer here uh, really nice design on the front there twin golden dragons and uh, also indicating uh, that it has two uh, uh, bursting tabs there uh, so increasing the chance of uh, uh, getting past that infinite lock system unlike with Prime Apocalypse which only has one of these tabs uh, but uh, this uh, bay has that hybrid driver so probably 
evening out the difference between the two with that and uh, something I didn't really look at before um, show you before was uh, just how close this design comes to uh, a uh, Hasbro slope system as well which is uh, quite different not seeing those teeth there so used to that uh, uh, click of these Takira Tomy bays it's um, uh, going to take a bit of getting used to and uh, we'll move on to our hybrid driver now and here it finally is our hybrid driver looking very large in size <laughs> um, pretty similar to the RC ones of the Hasbro brand and uh, um, also the Ripfire ones but uh, quite a bit bigger than those and as you can see the uh, weight disc is actually incorporated into it so no way to remove that guy and I'll just mention as well that um, I did notice a tool on the box at the start of my clip and I found out what that was for so there's a small switch here which changes the spin direction of uh, the driver and that tool is to aid in flicking that if needed as well as the hook on the other side here uh, helping you remove those batteries inside when it comes uh, time to change those out and uh, we'll turn him on now so there's a little uh, switch here on the bottom side which does turn it on and we'll flick that and you can hear it kick into action there and also a, a bit of a light indicator uh, telling you that it's on as well and there we have it uh, I might piece these bays together and uh, we'll uh, get to testing this guy out in a stadium right all of our bays are assembled now and I actually do realize that I didn't review the other two bays which come as part of this set so uh, at the risk of making this video too long I will do the quickest of reviews right now uh, starting off with a race Fafnir uh, so when I first saw this on the box I thought it was a much brighter color than what it actually is uh, and uh, it is a really cool blood red looking uh, bay and so uh, I actually like that color a lot more than what I thought um, it was going to come as and he has uh, uh, the sting uh, forge disc and the trick driver and is left spinning and we'll have a quick listen to those clicks and they are really quite strong so probably going to make that a decent bay to go up against and next up we have uh, Cosmo Dragon and another uh, color scheme which I like uh, this purple Vanguard um, surprisingly tying in uh, quite nicely with the bay and then we've got our revolve old revolve driver here uh, which is um, uh, probably still a, a, a decent uh, driver um, uh, especially when combined with the Cosmo layer uh, giving this uh, bay a decent amount of last ability and uh, those clicks sorry um, are not not as heavy as a race a Fafnir but uh, as I was just saying quite a smooth layer so probably not going to take too heavy of impacts anyway and now we will finally get our new bays into a stadium and uh, give them a proper test out all right first up we're going to start off with regalia genesis because i am so keen to see how this hybrid driver actually performs um, so 
got that light flashing indicating that it is turned on. Three, two, one, go shoot. <laughs> Just hear that driver kick in. Wow, it's actually got quite a lot of power. Oh, oh, we're off again. <laughs> that was nuts. Wow. Oh, I'm not too sure how this driver. Uh, chooses when to activate, but it had two goes at it then. Jeez, it looks like uh, even when the driver isn't going, uh, it spins for a fair while too. Uh, just because the whole setup um, has quite a, a bit of weight to it. Very nice. Oh, I really like that. Okay, we'll move on to Prime Apocalypse. And last, Prime Apocalypse. And I say that because I'm not going to test fire the other two bays because we've uh, probably seen uh, those drivers in action before anyway. Plus, this video has run long enough and um, it's probably starting to lose interest. So, here we go. Three, two, one, go shoot. Prime Apocalypse. Ultimate Reboot Dash. Whoa, and uh, there we go. Kicking in and firing off around the stadium like a madman. Prime Apocalypse. And I am really impressed with how they've designed these new bays and uh, looking forward to uh, future battles ahead with them. I hope you like today's video and until next time, enjoy the rest of your day.